Hello and welcome Aries. I am Pisces Intuition here with your birthday reading. So happy birthday, happy Aries season to all the Aries out there. Um, what a way to start the season, am I right? <laughs> all right, let's see what is coming in for Aries. For all of the Aries season. Give us something good. All right. Okay, Aries, this is a nine card spread. Um, we're going to be looking into the recent past, the current energies, and then the immediate future. I will be clarifying, and I will also be using some um, oracle decks as well, quite a few. All right, so bottom of the deck, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. Let me see if I can fix that there. Okay, we do have the Ace of Pentacles. All right. So the Ace of Pentacles, you know, Aces, you know, brand new beginnings, um, all that good stuff. New opportunities. This could be work. This could just be finances are looking up. Um, this could be you starting a new project. You know, whatever the case is, it is something brand new. And again, you know, a big opportunity for you. All right. Let's see if I can fix that. Okay. Hopefully that's better. Okay. So Aries, um, it looks like in the recent past here we have the three of wands the nine of cups and the queen of pentacles so aries it's like you're really just kind of waiting for your happiness you're waiting on some kind of stability you're you could uh, be waiting on a person um for for me it's just kind of picking up that you are just really kind of waiting on um the thing that makes you happy that is kind of like wish fulfillment it's like you want to settle down you know you want um, you know, happiness, a partnership, uh, something you can kind of grow, build for some of you starting a family. And it's just like, you know, I've set this intention out there. Now, where do I start? Um, you know, just kind of waiting for it to come in. I'm kind of working up toward, you know, to it. Um, kind of just leading towards, you know, my goals here. All right. And then in the current energy, we have the full card, we have the temperance and we have the nine of swords. So this is really just taking a big leap, a big leap of faith, starting something new, brand new journey, um, just some kind of new beginning, just really kind of, you know, out of hope, you know, out of faith, really not having much to um, concrete this, to say this is a sure thing. Just, again, taking that leap on faith, you know, starting this journey on, you know, just, um, you know, hoping that it goes well. Now, with the temperance card, it does show that, you know, this this could go either way, Um you know, because it's like part of you is kind of 50-50, like, you know, I just want to do it. Let's get this started. You know, I do want this brand new beginning. You know, this is talking again about a journey. For some of you, this is going to be about traveling this month. Um, well, perhaps not this month, but, you know, uh, definitely some kind of travel during your birthday season. Or maybe you had planned on a trip or something for your birthday season. And so now it's like maybe the trip can't happen. With this nine of swords, it's like things that you had planned, things that you were kind of wanting, you were working towards. It's like with this nine of swords, you're really kind of stressed out about it. You're thinking it, um, you know, maybe it won't happen, you know, because the nine of swords, that's being in your head. You know, this is a nightmare card. This is feeling, you know, stressed, anxious, um, you know, sleepless nights, just having, you know, all these things, just like I said, being kind of just stuck in your head, um, again, causing sleepless nights, really causing you to kind of worry. Um, but we have temperance in the middle. We have temperance in the middle of this spread here, which is just saying that, you know, overall, you know, just find that balance, you know, don't get too set on one thing and then lose interest or, you know, lose paying attention to another thing. Make sure there's a fine balance here between the wants and between the needs, um, between, you know, what needs to be done and what, you know, has to be done. Um, you know, something along those lines here, it's like, there just, there needs to be a balance. It's like once you get set on something, that's what you put your mind towards. And that's what you keep working on, working on, working on. But there's still something over here that, you know, kind of gets neglected. And then it's like, uh Oh, 
this over here that's being neglected is causing problems now. You know, this could um, be something on your house. This could be something on your car. This could be something at work, you know, at home, you know, whatever the case is. Um, just make sure that you're finding a balance. Also make sure you're finding a balance within yourself. Don't let yourself get too carefree and don't let yourself get too stressed out. You know, kind of find that happy medium, that happy middle of knowing that, you know, you can still be carefree and, um, you know, have fun, you know, have, you know, um, you know, have amazing little journeys here and there, but, you know, also, like I said, you know, there's gotta be like this, um, 50, 50, this equal balance of work and play again, you know, just kind of finding this, um, with this balance within yourself of not being overly carefree to where, you know, you kind of just get irresponsible. And then again, not being so stressed out that you forget to be a little carefree, that you forget the things that you love, the things that you're passionate about, you know, your dreams, your hopes. So again, you know, it's really kind of um, important right now during this season, Aries, that you focus on that med that happy medium. You know, make sure you're kind of just going with the flow, you know, finding that healing balance, um, you know, just even those scales out here. All right. <clears throat> Now, in the immediate future, we do have something very unexpected coming in um, that's really going to cause you to feel like you're having to carry the brunt of the load. Um, you know, with this Ten of Wands here, it's going to feel like you are just, everything's kind of weighing on your shoulders, you know, lots of responsibility. Um, so again, make sure we're not neglecting anything, you know, from the past or, you know, from the current here, if, you know, you kind of neglected things from the past, make sure you're working on, like I said, that, um, that middle ground here in the current energy, that way, you know, the immediate future doesn't look as, um, as overwhelming. But like I said, something is coming in as far as being unexpected with this tower card, kind of like knocking you off your footing. Um, you know, usually the tower, you know, it's in flames and, you know, there's people like flying, you know, or falling, you know, down and everything. This person's wearing a mask and they're, you know, falling off of the tower, but the tower's not in flames or anything like that. But what I'm kind of getting is, um, make sure you're being honest with somebody or make sure somebody is being honest with you. Um, it's like somebody's kind of wearing a mask and it's kind of causing a little bit of chaos. They're not coming at you with the full truth or, you know, vice versa, you know, whosever energy this is, but make sure, you know, again, um, if you have that little inkling of, you know, something doesn't quite feel right. Um, I don't know if this person is like really being legit with me. Are they being honest with me? You know, whatever the case is, make sure you're looking into that, not just taking something at face value. Um, because it looks like if you do, you're really going to be car left carrying, like I said, that, uh, overwhelming burden, you know, that heavy load. Um, it's like, you're going to be, you know, finding that uphill battle alone, you know, while you're carrying the weight of the world on your shoulders, you know, and, um, with the three of swords here, you know, we do have, you know, three of swords. I mean, that talks about heartbreak that talks about, um, you know, loss. It talks about, you know, possibly a third party situation. I'm not so much. I mean, it possibly, it could be since we do have something unexpected and it feels like somebody is just not being a hundred percent here with you as far as, um, honesty goes. So this could be, like I said, in a relationship, something along those lines, you know, do keep that in mind. Um, let's go ahead and let's clarify here. Um, let's see, where do I want to clarify? All right, let's clarify the Queen of Pentacles here. We'll start there. All right, so we have the Seven of Wands. We have the King of Wands. And the Knight of Swords. All right, so Aries, for some of you, this could be waiting on some kind of communication um, from this Queen of Swords. You know, you could be waiting because, you know, like I said, trying to find stability within a partnership, within a relationship, um, you know, getting wish fulfillment, you know, that would make you happy if, you know, you were to hear some kind of communication. Um, but it's like, that's what you're waiting on from this person. You know, you want them to take action, 
It's like you're very passionate about this person. You're very drawn to this person. You know, you feel like you guys made a good match. You could have been together for quite some time. Or you see yourself being together for quite some time. But it's like either you want things to move to the next level for some of you because you're still together. And then for others of you, it's like, no, you're not together. You're waiting to hear some communication. You're waiting either, like I said, to take this to the next level. Um, or for others of you that aren't with this person, you're waiting for them to come in. And this doesn't have to be somebody you know. This does not have to be somebody from your past. It's just, um, you know, you're, you're kind of calling in like a soulmate. You're calling in some kind of energy, you know, for those of you who are single out there. It's like you want to finally meet somebody. You want to settle down. Like I said, you know, you want that wish fulfillment. You're just kind of waiting for the right person to come along. You know, you know what it is that you want. You're just waiting again for, you know, the right person to come along. And so it's like the person does, um, you know, kind of come in kind of swiftly. It's like you really want want this to happen um you know you're trying to take, take control of it you're trying to trying to put yourself out there to meet new people some of you could be doing online dating um you know some of you could um some of you could be even like paying for some online dating services hmm. all right i'm gonna set that over here that was clarifying the Queen of Wands. So now let's go ahead and let's look into um, the full card here. And then I want to look into the Nine of Swords. So let's start with the full card. Yeah. Again, there's a lot of waiting, um, you know, trying again, trying to make a decision, trying to find that balance. You know, like I said, this current energy is all about finding a balance, not focusing too much on work, but also knowing when to play. And then again, not focusing so much on playtime and not putting in enough work. It's about finding that balance here. Um, again, kind of just waiting for something to come along. Um, it's like you're kind of, I keep getting like boredom or something. It's like you want something to focus on. You're looking forward to something, um, but you're unsure of it at the same time. So, you know, again, this could be that fresh start, that new journey that you are just, you know, you're kind of like, Ooh, do I do it? Do I take it? You know, I'm just kind of waiting for the right time, you know, but then it's like, is this going to work out? Is this going to pan out if I take it? So again, you know, it does look like there's going to be some new opportunities, new beginnings, especially with that um, Ace of uh, Pentacles on the bottom. But just make sure, you know, again, you're kind of keeping balanced. Okay, one more. I'm going to look at this Nine of Swords here. So you do get that clarity. Yeah, see, something's t kind of toxic here. Um this is, I'm seeing this a couple different ways. For some of you, this is kind of uh, using that inner strength to kind of fight off things that you are um, kind of addicted to. This could be like, you know, partying too much. This could be drinking too much. This could be, again, lack of responsibility. Um, you know, not knowing which way to go because we do have the Ace of Swords, you know, again, kind of clouding the mind, um, you know, being stuck in your head, again, not making decisions because, you know, you are stuck in your head, you know, feeling kind of anxious, like, well, I don't know what to do. I don't know. And then it's like this, you know, moment of clarity kind of hits and it's like, okay, well, I really need to just kind of, you know, tame the beast, use that inner strength, you know, get past, um, like I said, if these are, you know, codependencies, um, if this is, you know, a toxic relationship, which I'm not so much getting relationship, but I am just getting, you know, kind of like vices, you know, for somebody here. It's like not knowing. It's like I'm trying. I'm trying to give up, you know, um, you know, something that's bad for me here. You know, I'm trying my best, you know, trying again to tame the beast. Um, you know, it's just it's a little difficult for me. You know, there's going to be some harsh time here. But, you know, it's it's going to be worth it because, you know, we do have, like I said, this ace of sword that's giving you that um, that aha moment, that clarity, you know, that's clearing things up for you to see what it is that you need to do, you know, with the steps you need to take forward. And um, then we have, you know, the eight, uh, the card of strength here, you know, saying, yes, you know, you have that inner strength. So you can get past this little nightmare card here. All right, I want to... Look into the tower card, please. All right. Okay. 
Okay. Mm, okay. So yeah. So you could have heard some kind of news or something about um, a possible third party situation that's really kind of breaking your heart. Um, this could have been like slow. This could have been something over time. Perhaps this person, you know, is kind of having an affair over time. Um, we do have the eight of wands as well. So it's like, you know, you have some communication and some slow moving communication, or perhaps this person just doesn't want, you know, maybe you want a reconciliation. Um, you know, you want to reconcile with this person and maybe this person just doesn't want the same. And I'm getting the feeling for some of you, this person has been kind of leading you on, um, kind of, you know, getting your hopes up like, you know, yeah, you know, it's just not the right time right now. I've got so much going on. Um, you know, we just, I can, we can't be together right now. Either there's distance between us or, um, again, you know, I've got so much going on with like work and, you know, things like that. They just keep giving excuses, but at the same, not cutting at the same time, not cutting the cord. And so, you know, now it's finally like gotten to the point where you're just like, okay, you know, I need the truth. I need you to just come at me with the truth. And then they tell you, okay, you know what? I, I don't want a relationship with you. You know, I don't want this. And so, you know, again, that causes heartbreak that, you know, it's very unexpected, you know, like, wow, why didn't you just tell me this from the start? You know, why couldn't you have been honest with me? All right, let me see if I can clarify the three of swords. All right, so the Three of Swords, we get clarified by the Four of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and then the Magician. So yeah, so somebody could have been a little bit of a trickster here. Um, it's like you tried to fix something, or this person you know, may have tried to fix something. For the majority, I'm just getting, you know, this person just kind of leading you on. I, I just keep getting that very strongly. Um, you know, but then it's like, you know, you try to hang on to this situation. Um, but, you know, it's just like, uh, it just feels like it was kind of stretched out. Like I said, this person just either really kind of liked you on or, you know, just it's like they didn't want to hurt you. But the, at the same time, you know, they didn't want a relationship, you know, so it's kind of like, okay, well, now it's just time to, you know, kind of let you know the truth of what's going on. So, yeah, it just to me feels like this person could have liked you on. Um you know, again, not wanting to let go of the situation, but also knowing that you need to take a break from it. Um, you know, and also you need to heal from this. You need to make sure you are taking care of yourself. Ah. Because this is a heartbreak. This is, you know, it, it hurts. So, yeah, you definitely, yeah. And as I'm saying this, I mean, the death card comes out. And then the world card, um, you know endings but where there's endings there's a new beginning there's transformation you know again where something ends something new begins we have the world card you know same thing where there's an ending there's a new beginning you know successful new beginning moving on moving on to something better something um you know ace of pentacles here brand new beginning so yeah so you know this had to end though is what I'm trying to say. So, you know, even though it hurts right now, you're kind of like, you know, wow, why, you know, wanting all these questions? It's like, you know, you're making way for something better to come in. All right, let's go ahead and let's take, actually, let's do an angel answer first. And then we will get into the relationship oracles, some love oracle. All right, um... Overall, Aries, like I said, just make sure you're finding a balance and don't, you know, don't put yourself too much. Don't put yourself too out there for people. Like, it's good to help and everything, but definitely don't overextend right now because it really kind of feels like that's what you're doing with this person. And, you know, I'd hope that this person wasn't taking advantage of you, but like I said, it really just kind of feels like they were leading you on. All right, yeah. All right, so bottom of the deck, we do have the answer no. So in case somebody out there had a um, a question that maybe you were thinking of in your head, you know, something along those lines, you know, then that could be for you. However, the cards that came out, 
is that listen to your intuition, wait an opportunity. So, you know, pretty self-explanatory, you know, definitely trust in your intuition. Like I said, if you feel like I'm um, going back to that card, you know, the, uh, the tower card where they're wearing the mask and, um, you know, it just feels like if somebody's not being honest with you, you know, something feels kind of off, definitely address the issue. Don't just ignore it. Don't hide it. Don't try to look the other way, you know, just be careful because it does feel like that. And it does feel like, you know, you kind of sense it. So definitely listen to that intuition, you know, wait before you make any sudden um, movements before you make any big decisions. Make sure you're kind of weighing the consequences. Make sure you're really balancing things out and make sure you're really thinking about it. Not just the here and then here and now, but also long term um, is what I keep getting with the weight card. Now opportunity, again, I keep getting that with Ace of Pentacles. Um, you know, something big, big's going to be coming in. This could be I'm getting um, maybe job finances, um, new home for somebody. Um, yeah, I'm just, I'm getting a big new opportunity here for, for you Aries. So yeah, so definitely some good things coming in. You know, like I said, you just, you gotta be patient. Sometimes we gotta get rid of things in order to make room for the new good things that are going to be coming in. All right, Aries, let's get some relationship. Island time, wellness, oracle, love cards. Ooh, okay, okay, okay. I don't want to take that. <laughs> uh, okay. All right. Okay, so actually these do all make sense. Okay, so with this current person, like I said, that um, I'm talking to you about that, you know, really just kind of feels like they're wearing a mask, possibly kind of leading you on. All right, so we do have sunglasses, watching, looking, stalking, gaslighting, um, perception, and focusing out. So it's kind of like wearing those rose-colored sunglasses or, you know, rose-colored glasses, just kind of seeing things that are kind of in distorted, you know, view. Um, but this could also be someone kind of watching you, um, you know, but again, somebody kind of gaslighting the situation too. also, you know, just kind of making you think, no, you're crazy. You know, like, why would I do that? Or, you know, again, just make sure you're trusting your intuition. Okay. During this month. All right. And then we have separation, which I do see for you and this person, um, sadness, missing you, thinking about you, yearning and unsure of future. Um, then we have Cupid's arrow. So have faith, love is coming, surprise invitation or meeting and hesitation, and then love, unconditional love, self-love, oneness, passion, affection, and attraction. So again, where there's, um, you know, with the death card, going back to the death card and the world card, where there's an ending, there's always a new beginning. And so it looks like, you know, kind of seeing this person for who they really are. And even though we separate, even though, you know, we're kind of missing them, um, you know, thinking about them, unsure of the future. Where do I go now? Am I ever going to meet somebody again? Uh, do I even want to date right now? You know, all those questions, you know, we have all those questions that kind of get unanswered for a little bit. Just remember we have new opportunities and, you know, for a lot of you, this is, you know, going to be in love. This is going to be in finances. Like I said, new job promotion, something along those lines, but definitely some big changes coming in for you. Aries. All right. Okay. Oh, I got to take that one. Bottom of the deck, uh, sunshine, good vibes, happy times, positive attitude, things going well. The answer is yes. Okay. All right. So the two that came out was game face Taking things very seriously, a competition, the look in it to win it, fake it till you make it, and then a wicked, mischievous, naughty, harmful, dangerous, false portrayal, lie, cheat, and beware. So again, I keep getting this, you know, for this person, um, you know, this could be this person's game face, like I said, wearing that mask, kind of leading you on. Um, again, you know, beware, because it does feel like this person is kind of just being dishonest with you. Um, it just feels like, you know, like I said, this person is, they're just not being, like I said, 100% with you is all I can keep getting. All right. So as far as, um, you know, we can look into this love situation, we can look into future love. Um, I want three cards, please, for Aries, for their love. Like I said, for a lot of you, there's going to be some new beginnings, though. 
So definitely, you know, don't, don't think this is it. All right. So Aries could be pretty fiery this month. We do have sexual union. Honor the place in one another where you are one eternal soul. For you, for there you will find true bliss. Then we have soulmate. Your soulmate is already with you in spirit. Believe this and they will manifest physically. So that could kind of be the unexpected thing coming in as well. Um, not so much from this tower card, but, you know, the new beginning, um, things like that. You know, I am getting, like I said, somebody new is going to be coming in, but it's like, we have to clear out, like I said, this, um, this negative energy, this kind of, you know, this lesson that we're needing to go through could be possibly a karmic relationship that some of you are going through, but we need to clear that out. So, you know, you have to go through this, you know, for a reason, um, learn from it, grow from it, you know, and then something new, something better is definitely going to be coming in. And then this one says, close your eyes and tell yourself that you deserve to feel joyful. You can allow joy on into your life, regardless of the circumstances you currently find yourself in. So, yeah, so that's just saying, you know, definitely again, um, you know, Aries, make sure you are staying positive about your situation, you know, especially with, you know, things to come, um, you know, like I said, relationship issues, um, finding that balance, you know, make sure you're staying positive. Don't fall into one feeling too deep. Um, as far as, you know, any negative feelings, um, you know, because that could lead to depression. That could lead to a lot of other things. So definitely, again, just, you know, be careful with that. All right. Now we need to find or get one more card here. And then I'm going to take a Moonology card and see what is going on. Okay. Hopefully we're not picking up too much outside interference. Um, everybody, you know, I do have neighbors and, you know, with everybody's, uh, kids being like out of school and everything. Yeah. <laughs> it's been kind of noisy. So I do apologize, but kind of out of my hands. All right. Bottom of the deck, um, act as if your partner is here. So whether you have someone in your life or not act, act as if they are with you. So you will always consider them. All right, so um, again, that's kind of reiterating to me, you know, kind of just saying like you're calling in this soulmate, like after this person's like, it's almost like this person was kind of holding you back. You're kind of holding yourself back. And once you release this person or once you release the um, the being led on, you know, you, you make room for, like I said, for this soulmate to come in, this new person to come in. So, you know, just keep that in mind. Um, and then we have be willing to express love, express love to receive love. And then practice compassion. See things from a fresh perspective. All right. So again, you know, make sure, like I said, that sunglasses card. And then be willing to express love to Aries. Because it almost feels like after this, it's like some of you just want to kind of like shut down. Just kind of be done for a bit. And, you know, definitely you got to kind of, you got to go through those emotion, those emotions. You know, you, you need to heal from this. You need to learn from this. You know, kind of acknowledge, you know, nobody's perfect. Everybody makes mistakes. So, you know, there's nothing to be ashamed of, nothing to be embarrassed by. You know, if you do feel like this person is leading you on or whatever and like, for some of you, just, I kept picking up, like, you know, you're going to feel like it's your fault. It's your fault. You know, like, how did I let this go on so long? You know, and you can't go there. You know, don't go there, Aries. All right. So emotions are going to be running high, um, you know, during your birthday season here. But your commitment is being tested. So, and this is a commitment I just feel like um, is to yourself that you have to yourself. Like, you know, are you going to make it through this? Can you carry these 10 wands? You know, can you do this? Um, or are you going to break under the pressure? You know, no, I don't feel that Aries. I feel like I said, you're going to acknowledge it. You're going to go through all the emotions and, you know, you're going to come out on top. Um, yeah, bottom of the deck, you know, definitely a time for healing during the season. Um, so again, I hope that helps. So... All right. All right, Aries, that is what I have for you for your birthday reading. I do appreciate you guys taking your time to watch. Um, again, happy birthday. You know, your season starting off, you know, kind of like the Pisces season, you know, just kind of a bit rough. I know, guys, hang in there. Um, but again, everybody take care. Again, happy birthday. Um, thank you all so very much and have a great day.